Have you ever wondered how these amazing macro pictures are taken? Well, today we're going to build a setup and explain the parts and show you how it all works. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ted and I'm a professor of photographic sciences at Rochester Institute of Technology. And today I'm going to go through what this Metatoyo lenses are and how to attach them through a tube lens to a regular digital camera. So hopefully you'll stick around, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to figure out how to take Mitotoyo lenses, which are these uh, objectives here, uh, and figure out a way to match them to a digital camera. So uh, we have to start with all the parts. So these are the Mitotoyo lenses, and we have a 5, uh, a 10, and a 20X here today. And they're very good lenses uh, with the idea that their working distance is quite far. So the idea is that your focal point's out here somewhere and there's lots of room to give uh, light to your specimen. They don't have the resolution as a microscope objective, but they have this incredible working distance, which makes it really nice for machine parts, industrial applications, or uh, going out in the field and doing macro photography. Like all objectives, um, be super careful when you're handling these and don't drop them. They also are built to modern standards and that means that the light coming out of the back of the objective is parallel. This allows uh, users to put filters in this location and to spread it out. We're going to put it, uh, a lens tube here so we've got lots of room to put filters or polarizers or whatever we need at the end of it. Um, all of these objectives have uh, pretty much the same working distance and it's uh, somewhere around 30 millimeters, if I remember right. Um, keep them in cases if you're not using them, and we're not gonna be using them for a little while here because we have to assemble the rest of the optics. So, this is the uh, lens tube lens, and what this lens does is it focuses the objective, which is out here, um, and it focuses it down to your image plane for your camera. So this would be typical for any microscope and these objectives are built for a 200 millimeter focal length. So this is a Nikon, it's um, uh, available from uh, Edmonds Optics and it screws right into this Thorlabs tube lens adapter. And you've got to be kind of careful because it only goes in one way but this side of your lens goes to your objective and this side of your lens goes to your image plane or where your sensor is. So we're going to start with this side of the tube first because we have to adjust the tube length to match this f200 uh, millimeter uh, optic that's in here. We start with a, a tube um, and this is the the Thor Labs and I've got directions for all of these parts um, down in the, in the description or I'll put them at the end of this video. But here's the Thorlabs uh, lens tube adapter. And the next part is this is an adjustable screw mount. And this adjustable screw mount allows me um, about 20 millimeters or more uh, distance. So I can change that focal point of this lens to my sensor. And so I want to adjust this. And it comes with a little locking ring. And there's the locking ring. Once I get everybody uh, into the right way I will lock that down. Now this is the, the Thorlabs lens tubes and the trouble is that the Thorlabs lens tubes have to be matched to your camera and that happens through this little lens ring. Uh, this was actually dropped in there with a little drop of glue so it's not coming out right now. But there's a locking ring for it. It actually comes, this uh, linkage assembly comes with two locking rings. I'm going to use one to lock it onto the lens tube and the second one I'm going to use on the front of the uh, system. So this goes from the lens tube down to an adapter which is a, a 42 millimeter. It's the old Pentax mount and that adapter uh, goes on, in this case I'm going to put it on a Canon uh, EOS mount and so that 42 millimeter adapter. Now be careful with some of these adapters are chromed like I picked up one for a Sony camera it had a lot of chroming on it and the trouble with that is it is so reflective that it'll end up with lens flares. If you end up with lens flares in your system, you can use uh, flocking uh, tape or black velvet paper on the inside of the lens tube. But keep in mind, some of those velvet papers do give off a lot of um, uh, hairs and they contaminate your sensor. 
since this camera is going to go on a Canon, um, I now put it on that, that camera body and we take this outside and we focus it by changing this lens tube and that will change that distance. We'll show that footage now what it looks like uh, when you have it focused. So here the, the lens is being focused on that far away trees and that's not bad so I'm going to say that it's uh, about the right distance and I'm just going to keep that distance. Once everything is set you can uh, lock up this this ring adapter and you tighten up all these and then tighten up this one. So there we go, we're set. So at this point the system is focused here and I start assembling the front of this uh, lens system. So here's the, the front tube and the idea with this front tube is it's going to give me a little bit of space to put filters in or whatever else I might need, uh, polarizers between the objective uh, and this tube lens. And remember the light goes parallel in this region. So there we go. Now, uh, there's a way you really typically want to mount these with these uh, lens couplers, the lens uh, holders for the, the optics tubes here. And what I did was I took an Arca Swiss mount and I drilled uh, holes to match this uh, adapter here. So I'm going to put that in there. Uh, there's my first one. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to tighten it up but not too tight because I want to make sure that I can slide everything together before I tighten up all the bolts. And it's a good idea to have the two bolts facing in the same direction when you're done. And so this is uh, has to go on first because I need to put a mount here. So the way that this mount works is the re retaining ring is in there. This is the adapter from Thor Labs for the Metatoyo uh, objective. There we go. We'll put this piece in. The, the distance between this mount and here is not critical because the light is parallel at this point. Make sure the tube is nice and snug. And only then do I come on the bottom here and tighten these screws because they will uh, typically be out of alignment. And once I'm all set here, um, it, the focus doesn't matter on this front part. I can put on my objective and today I'm going to be shooting with a, with a 5X. Um, these are good for all sorts of uh, lighting, bright field and dark field, and there's my objective, and we're ready to go.